Hey there, Catamist fans. In today's tutorial, we're going to explore the fascinating world of toroidal propellers and learn how to design one using Onshape. Toroidal propellers are known for their unique donut-shaped design, which offers some interesting advantages in terms of efficiency and maneuverability. So let's dive right in and start designing our very own toroidal propeller. We will use surface commands as well as the helix and split command. All right, I'll stop the animation. Show you the part studio here. So that is our propeller here. We start with a sketch from the, the top plane and um, so let's start in an empty part studio. A sketch, top plane, press N to have a normal view of that, P to hide those sketch planes, S for shortcuts, and one circle with the origin as the center. Dimension that with 188. Then draw a line, which will be a construction line from the origin out. Then again, one circle. Look for that midpoint here. Connect that to the origin and one more like that to that midpoint. All right, everything's fully defined. Let's have a look in space of our sketch and go into the helix command. Where is that here? Helix. So we got um, various options in that helix command. We can take a cylindrical or a conical face an axis or a circle. I'll take the circle. And as the circle, I'll take this edge. And input type, I'll go to pitch. Start angle zero degrees is fine. Height, I'll just take 22 millimeters. And as the target pitch, I'll take 200. Accept that, and there is our curve. I'll keep that sketch number one visible. And go into the sweep command. That'll be a surface sweep here. This is the sweep. Take that edge, that circle, and as the sweep path, our curve. All right. Now I'll show you one technique of creating an axis without um, having to create a sketch. And that is here again in the curve section. I'll take the intersection curve. Take the front plane as group one, the right plane as group two, accept that. And go into the circular pattern of parts, axis is that curve, three times, all right. I'll hide our curves for now. I'll hide the sketch one. And what I need is that for that surface to be cut off by the next one, the adjoining one. So for that, I take the split command. I want to split that part with that one. Great. All right, so now we get um, now three surfaces. I don't need that surface one. I, I just need one really. 
but I want to cut that off one more time with uh, that bearing body, that central body. For now, I'll just hide those all those surfaces. Start a sketch on the right plane. Press N and start with a line going up here, going over there. And now I turn pressing my left mouse button that line command and a tangent arc. Release the mouse here, go down here. Okay. That sketch will have um, the dimensions, pressing D to that line 22. I'll make that line with pressing Q, construction geometry. I'll give that an 8 millimeter radius. And let's show one surface here just con to connect that. Or, well, maybe a little, hi little higher, huh? Um, I will raise that. To that point two millimeters press T or take the tangent and I get that fully defined sketch exit that go into the revolve surface revolve of those three lines around that axis exit that and let's show the surfaces we have so far. Four. I'll um, go to delete part and delete this one. And um, that one. We don't need those anymore. And now I will split this surface with that one. So split. Here, that one with that one. I don't need to keep both sides. That's fine like that. Ah, but I do want to keep my tool here. Keep tools. All right. So now we can apply the thicken command here. Take that surface. One mil or point four millimeter to one side, point four to the other one. All right. Um, then let's pattern that that part around that axis three times. Okay, and for that body again, we'll do a thicken, go here to the inside, press those, select those three, and go one millimeter outside and one millimeter inside. There, there it is. We got four parts right now. Let's combine those. One, two, three, four. All right. Maybe we want to apply some bearing, some, some circle here. I'll take that surface. Draw a circle here. Give that 12 millimeters diameter. And um, exit that, go into the extrude. 
take that thin, a thin extrude, okay? And um, turn that around. Oh, no. Two millimeters is fine. Go to up to part, that part. Um, like this, adding to our body. Okay. Then let's have a look at that rip command. I start a sketch on that same plane here. A line from here up there. Exit that, go to the rib here, take that. We want to go normal to sketch plane. Um, give that a two millimeter thickness, accept that. There we have it. Go on the circular pattern of features, that rib around that axis three times, apply per instance, accept that, and if you wish you can apply different appearances to the, the surfaces, I'll just Take here those three, add appearance to three faces, maybe that one, and um, and that's it. Well, I missed those here. Huh? I'll take that one, take that one again, apply that um, appearance. And, and that's it. There you have it. You've successfully designed a toroidal propeller using Onshape. This unique propeller design offers some exciting possibilities for various applications, from marine propulsion to drone technology. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Catamist for more amazing tutorials. I see you in the next video.